found this really cute sugar cookie recipe in Everyday Food in a holiday issue where they had made these colorful Christmas trees and it was just a sugar cookie with colored dough but we thought that would make a really interesting Valentine's Day heart. So we made these sugar cookies and tried it out. To make the sugar cookies, you'll whisk together three and a half cups flour and one half teaspoon salt in a medium bowl. In a large bowl with an electric mixer, beat together two sticks of butter and two cups sugar on medium high until it's pale and fluffy. Beat in two eggs, one at a time, and then add two teaspoons vanilla. Reduce the mixer to low and then add the flour mixture, beating until combined. Divide the dough into the number of colors you want. We made four different colors, and in each section of dough knead in different colors of food coloring. Then flatten the dough into discs and wrap it in plastic wrap. Now you can stick it in the fridge for one hour or up to three days if you're working ahead. When you're ready to make the cookies, pick which color you'd like to be the main color for the cookie and lightly flour that disc and place it on a sheet of parchment paper. Place another piece of parchment paper on top and roll out until it's one eighth of an inch thick. Take the other colors of dough and cut out different shapes, roll them into balls. What we found to be helpful was to roll small pieces into thin snake-like pieces of dough and then you could either use that to make stripes or use that to help make tiny little polka dots. So then take all those little pieces of colored dough and put it on top of the main sheet of cookie dough and then place another piece of parchment paper on top of your decorated cookie dough. Gently roll it out until the decorative pieces are flush with the base dough. Carefully remove the top sheet of parchment paper. Using your cookie cutter, we're using a heart here, cut the dough. Don't remove the cutout from the dough. You're going to want to stick it in the freezer to firm up for about 15 minutes. We put it on a baking sheet. While they're freezing, preheat the oven to 350 degrees and line another cookie sheet with parchment paper. After 15 minutes, you can take the dough out of the freezer and remove the cutouts from the excess dough and they'll come out really easily. Place them on the newly lined baking sheet. Bake them in the preheated oven until they're set about 12 minutes. Then let cool on sheets on wire racks.